The TurboGrafx-16 Mini is rich in shoot 'em ups and it's impossible to talk about this library of shoot 'em ups without leading with blazing lasers. This is a title that's super fast paced on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. We're going to play it in style. We're about to take a thrill ride on one of the most high octane experiences on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. In Blazing Lasers, you control the Gunhead Starfighter. It's a Cadillac of intergalactic space vehicles. This ship is capable of multiple weapon combinations, and thanks to an abundance of power-ups in the opening seconds of the game, you can take any one of them for a test drive. For example, I'm more of a defensive player, so I like increasing my shields by picking up the letter S. Combining that weapon system too, the Power Wave, gives you substantial defense and a wide range attack. Another power-up that works well with the shield is Weapon System 3, the Field Thunder. Like other weapon systems in this game, the Field Thunder gets more powerful if you pick up enough purple gel capsules. Just like that. And if you're looking for a more traditional way to power up, simply pick up an icon that matches one you already have. Just like I do with the shield. Here are other two game mechanics you need to know about in order to play Blazing Lasers well. First, there are no speed-based power-ups. Instead, you can adjust your speed at any time by pressing the select button on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini controller. This allows you to control the quickness and the precision of the Gunhead Starfighter anytime you want. The other innovative game mechanic I want to share in Blazing Lasers are the flashing gel capsules. When you see the green enemy spaceship just like this one, gun it down as quickly as you can, but don't pick up the power-up. Instead, let the power-up linger on the screen for a while until it starts to descend. Once it descends, continue to to fight the enemy squadron until the power reaches the bottom of the screen, where it will transform into a flashing orb. Now once you see one of these flashing orbs, make sure you pick it up, because when you're fighting massive bosses like this one, it's going to be your insurance policy. Normally when you explode in a shoot em up, you respawn at the last checkpoint, and Blazing Lasers is no exception to that. But if you picked up a flashing gel capsule any time before that, your ship will respawn exactly where it exploded, allowing you to tank through a substantial part of the game. To help balance this overpowered mechanic, you use up your flashing gel capsule whenever the Gunhead Starfighter explodes. But you're also allowed to pick up as many flashing gel capsules as you can find. So with 9 areas to traverse and multiple super weapons to take down, Blazing Lasers is one of those video games where you want to take advantage of every chance you get. So what are my thoughts about Blazing Lasers? This is a game that you should be playing on TurboGrafx-16 Mini the first chance you get. It starts off challenging, it builds its way up, you discover the weapon set that works best for you, and then suddenly you're just off to the races. Should your ship blow up, as long as you kind of know the hidden parts in terms of the gameplay, uh, you'll be able to ease yourself back in and hopefully make it to the end of this title. A worthy title on TurboGrafx-16 Mini, Blazing Lasers gets an 8 out of 10. If you're looking at a game full of highlights, this is the one you should try.